Christmas. But then again, it's the domestic matchup. It's the personal histories. It's everything all wrapped into one. Astralis, they're going to be starting on the CT side and Heroic on the CT side. And already run and gun, sip and glaive with two opening kills here to start with. Heroic reeling from that and trying to fall back from the middle. Shush, can he catch any headshots here? He's got so many opportunities. Might get another one. Might be right back into a three on three. That is real close. Great pace to start from Astralis, but they know how to capture the moment. They won't go without checking. Oh no, I, I spoke too soon. They didn't look at Tessus. He's here, but he doesn't find anything. Oh man. Almost a big oversight there, but just... Astralis, they still have some weaponry to work with. So Heroic, they're not out of the woods just yet. And there's a flash actually towards mid. They pounce. Kadian with the Galil spray. Great transfer. And Zipnix tries to push on through too. Can't find anything. And Farlig almost able to take downs down, but it just leaves Blame F. That's <laughs> right. And Stown's going to be walking out. It does connect with some of those shots. Meanwhile, all the way in middle. There is an attempt to try and run through into CT spawn, so pretty aggressive stuff here. Flashes around the corner and they'll find Jabby. That was such a good setup. I'd love to see them try that a little bit more. They almost catch Farlig. He was very busy trying to get into the middle. It's a two on three still with the bomb down and Shush is kind of covering it, but some of that play towards CT spawn, that's actually really nice. I'd love to see Astralis try that one more time. Yeah, they segmented the map so well there. Throwing those flashes in, they were able to find that space. It felt like that was... Stown started to make his way back. Tesses, though, I mean, that's just faking the audio, obviously. Trying to trying to run back, hope that someone's going to bite. Going to have to be up real early to catch Sip with something like that. Oh, but the headshot will do it. No fakes needed. Just an AK straight up. Stown doing all the work. And, mister, you will never suspect that. You've already taken that side. You're not going to expect for there to be a second player. Farley trying to take the battle. And you know what? He had the right read. He knew Tesses was going to re him. He just couldn't adjust in time. This is all right back to the a pressure i mean they got really close the last time right and try and do it again glaive even though completely oh, wow. and through okay. the smoke a double entry that is amazing they need that more three versus four now katie and they can't see Ooh. a thing the gabby's gonna be a kill and somehow it's still a two on two i can't believe it Tessus is here to take down glaive and now it's all on farley go oh, in the open he's gonna be found triple kill for yabby defending the bomb site and it will be a one more round for Tessus, realizing decides not to throw the nades, thinks the rifle might be a better choice, but he's going to get down. The Glim Glaive with the opening. He's just done it time and time again here. This first half has been all Glaive for the Astralis team. They're going to be losing Mr. The bomb is lost over there, and how did it even end up here? They have to swing to pick it up, and that will be the end of the round for Astralis. Nothing they could do. I don't know how the bomb got lost over in that seemed to be bomb site, but certainly they were in a position where if they would have found a kill at that corner, they could have. Kadian going to be showing up with the M4. <laughs> That's so much firepower here. Farley finally going to be taken down Stown, but still, look at how low they all are on that T side. And Yabby's in here ready and waiting, and that's an easy shot for him to hit, so this has kind of fallen apart. Farley has the bomb, but he's really on his own. Mister is hanging around with a Mac 10 on the other side of the middle. This is looking incredibly promising to put Heroic onto a 12th. Mister, he'll try to round the angle. Yabby, usually call this the Sphinx angle. It's a very strong off angle, and it does ace out. Tessus will be contesting Blame F. A tough fight to win but he's able to accomplish that now it gets a little bit interesting though still a chance for glaive to win it with two strong headshots maybe just the one because second player in kadian was already trying to plant the bomb that's really awkward now we've got in-game leader versus in-game leader picking up that usp and looking for it oh man still got 12 bullets He's getting completely surrounded. They're everywhere, and the backup can't be found. Farley gets too far away. Oh, that is real unfortunate. Oh, and they're getting out of there. Yeah, they are. They're saying, you know what? Since, because they came through middle, so they kind of know that he's not going to be there. They can actually almost certainly triangulate his position just from where they ran. Instant bomb plant here, and Farley, his chances of winning were already very low, but basically zero once they chose the other bomb. Papers in order. Glaive, though, already contested along with Mr. This has to be a stronghold if Astralis want a chance back into this game. Yeah, they need this round. 
Preferably the really smooth one where they can start to build a tiny bit of confidence. Glaive obviously has plenty of it. He's got 16 kills in spite of the fact that they are so far behind in this game. Three versus four, but Shush is going to be found. Sip picking up a couple of kills. Look at him now. Double in this round, and Tessis is entirely on his own, and he's going to be found. That's good. They have one casualty in that round, and it is 14 to 4. Really unenviable position. Kind of weirdly sandwiched in between the bomb side and the hallways up here. Although there is some backup on the other side. Gabby, out looking for him, and he's going to be rewarded. And again, the rest of his team can't find him. And look at him sneaking through CT spawn. Cadian, he's got his. He's so deep in there. There is a chance that Mister could screw this up, but it's a really slim one, and they're not ready. Glaive, he was kind of looking, but still, he was very quick to get in there. And Mister, revealing his hand as well, playing donut. That was the one thing that maybe could have brought it back. Is if they ran onto that A side just to plant the bomb immediately and forgot about checking donut, but they're going to be really thorough on this one. What a great execute! And just they were, they had the entire map. It looked like. This is exactly mechanics a little bit more. I mean, Nuke is going to be coming up. You know what an important role he's going to be playing on that CT side of Nuke. So I hope that uh, we're going to see some of that. 40 seconds and a lot of donut control being taken from Heroic. In fact, they're pushing everyone oh. in here. Farling missing the shot. And that might almost be the end of the map here. Mister is on his own. He does line up a pick double. That's more than you could have expected. They didn't quite check it. Tess is going to be out dueled in the end. And it will be now two on three. A little bit delayed on that bomb plant. They're just not feeling safe about it. KD missing a shot, and there's nothing more to be saved here. Good double for Glaive and a good retake. They just impactful. This guy is doing so much to keep his team in this game, despite being a stand-in. Oh, KD, it's so crazy. Runs up through the Molotov. He did the boost initially. Sip, though, going to take two in return. And now swing around. Third kill found from Sip, and it's all on Shush now. One versus three. Yeah, he knows where Sip is, but what does that matter when he's just hiding in the corner? Again, a good time to not try and fight anybody. And Shush going to be walking in. Misters there, and the timing just not working out for Shush at all. 11 to 15. All right, here we go. 15 to 12. Astralis, I mean, the comeback, it's already an amazing comeback, but it's not going to count unless they bring it all the way home. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice nade. It slows them down. And it basically blows them up as well. Stown is going to be traded in there. And no opening on the bomb site. Even a deep nade. <laughs> Dunking on Shush now. There's two players left. Yeah. Take some of the attention away when they turn the corner. There's going to be that deep AWP. But Mr. Yeah, he's first up in line. Gets the one, but gets traded right away. If they would have peed a little bit deeper instead of up front, at least he would have had Glaive to rely upon. But now Glaive calling in some backup. Farley is behind him, so both the AWPs are at this bomb site. They take down Yabby and Heroic. Are they just going to push it all in? They will. Adian gets blown up. Glaive ready to defend the bomb site. And under a minute. Oh no, the bomb. They now have to boost up to try and pick it up. This is a bit of a nightmare. Oh no. And while this is happening, more people are showing up. Good shot from Stout Farley. Nearly burns alive. Still 45 seconds here, and Tess is. He yeah, that's. Obviously, I mean, that they've seen before. Yep. I like that I tempered Mr. But it backfires just a little bit. Four versus five. And Sip into the smoky. Oh, oh he's going to go back out again. But they're right on the other side. This is so dangerous. It's going to wipe out this defense, it looks like. Farlik trying to retreat, but he's under a lot of pressure. Oh. He handles it so well. A nice triple. Farlik, he's had a pretty tough game, I would say, but... That absolutely makes up for it here. Two versus two now. Ten seconds on the clock. He just has to stay alive for another five seconds. And that's going to be tough. He almost gets the ace. And the bomb's so far away. Stout can't win the round now. I think it's too late. It should surely be too late. Yes, it will be. 16-17. They... I... Yeah. I mean, Yabby's going to be showing up, but he's very, very late. And it actually must be a little bit confusing for Astralis. They might be wondering, where on earth is everybody? Going to get a kill there and one for the smoke from Shush. So... Kind of slow three on three. Stown is quite far away from the action in the middle, so it might have to be the other two trying to open this up. Tess is braving the fire, running through to try and open up the bomb site. They've lost Shush and Stown. Oh my what? god! I don't think he know. I don't think he had any idea there was someone behind that. Farley just collateral damage. And Tess is testing it out. Peeking the bomb once. He's gonna go for it again, but he's running out of time really swiftly. Mister is out there and Tess is almost getting it. But Mister's playing this one like he is a veteran player. Just baiting him out, landing the second kill and hitting 30. 
30 bomb for the Astralis talent. Give it a little moment in this game. Oh, and there's the opening with the flash. Kadian setting it up, and Farley eats the entire flash and just gets outright killed. And they push down so far. <laughs> what an opening. Oh, yeah, there's no coming back from this one. Save anything you can. Yeah, just Jesus. literally five separate fights won across the map. Heroic showing the caliber. Get a triple kill for this to work out, and that's almost impossible, especially when you get knocked out like that. Shush with what could be the defining kill here. Opening up the A-bomb site. Flamef comes back to take down Yabby, but the bomb is planted already. Mr. Charging for the flames, and he nearly had it on Tessus, who's now dropped 40 kills in this map. Farley can blame F2 versus 4 for what looks like an impossible retake. It might be the end of the road here for Ancient. Astralis, they are so far behind in this retake. I don't think they can even get close. Down is going to be going down, but it doesn't matter. All on Farley. Deagle's out, and through the smoke he goes. 22 to 20. Heroic winning Ancient in double overtime. That was an excellent attempt from a... Kadian sneaking oh. in, he sees the gun barrel and he's gonna execute Farley. Four on four as they take down Glaive, they claim the bomb site, and it's gonna be a quick bomb plant. Yeah, this is nice for Heroic to bring it back. Oh, this is so awkward now for Mr. What? How does he recover that fight? Okay. Three versus three. This is now possible. And Kadian, he might be going right into Blame F. Oh, you no. don't wanna activate this guy. Yeah. Duelies are coming out. They know Shush is in the corner. It's all on him. Duelies are out. Mister is a bullet away from death. But what? He finds the headshot. He gets the quad kill. There. Yeah. Question is if you could turn it into something interesting now. You've already made the noise, so... They're going to definitely know. 45 seconds. Of course, without the weapons, it still might not matter. They just might not have the firepower. Blame if it's close by him. But everyone else is starting to fall slowly but surely get that kill too so good cleanup the audio slip didn't really cost them anything and it's definitely gonna be a tied scoreline yep two to two Ooh. okay good little shot yeah. throwing it down to the teammate might have been in the air not gonna rule that out entirely Let's see if blame can keep himself alive okay finds one more Seems like Blamef just kind of wants to warm himself up a little bit, though, in this game. It wouldn't really hurt. Just the end of him. Kadian looking right over. Oh. Did he see him? Oh, I, I mean, he did. It's just, did he actually notice it, or was it just us? Okay, that's it. That's a that's a present from Farleg. Not yeah. expecting that play to come out. Glaive, oh, just wasn't quite ready for the fight. Otherwise, could have found the return. But now, again, Heroic, they're afforded so much space. They don't necessarily have a great contingency plan, though. It's three of their players down towards lower, and Mr. and Glaive, they're setting up a crossfire. Oh, but Glaive gets caught trying to get down there. They're not ready for Mr., though, and he is absolutely on point with his M4. Big double. And now 40 seconds. He's going to go back. This is, again, a smart move. You've got this 2 on 2. If you stay fighting, your teammate can't really get there to help you out. Kadian looks like he's got Sip isolated, and he knows it. They're going to plant the bomb and just leave Sip down there. That's a really smart move from Heroic instead. Two versus two, but they know where Sip is. They kind of know where Mister is as well, and Sip has got no way to get out. A 10, but that's that one, and Kadian seizes it. Yeah, really good stuff. That's a three on two that they end up winning on the Heroic side. It's obviously also really frustrating. Wow, nice winning here. Farley on the other side, but again, shot through, and he's going to go down right afterwards. Glaive, way too many targets coming at him. To win that, he has to... Basically, insta headshot shush before he's ready for the next one. They're low on health on this on the T side, but honestly, how do you even get into this? Yeah, it seems nearly impossible. As long as Stown keeps track of this angle right here, and he does, so that'll be a seventh for heroic. Zipnix was already got his own counter Molotov. I don't know if that Molly's deep enough actually. I think Zipnix can play around that, but Yabby, he's holding for the push. Mister is so sharp today. And he's able to take away that lobby presence. Blame F2 chiming in. Three versus five. They got to get Blame F out of here. But he holds on. Really good stuff. So Tessas and Kadian, how do they bring it back? It was just basically a lost round. And maybe it still is. Finally going to be finding Tessas. All on Kadian. Looking for at least a bomb plant here. Oh, he's going to fake it out. Might want to try and do a bit of damage. 
Yeah, he really wants someone to come and peek him there. 25 seconds. He's back for it again, but the moment might have come and gone. Yeah, Glaive is going to be on the other side. Not going to lie. Super unexpected. Definitely would have assumed that they could do a little bit more. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Chaos in the smoke. They have no idea. Oh, oh, oh no. Sip is in there, but is it going to even matter? They don't know. They find Farlik. Surely someone's going to be wondering, where is Sip? And he misses the shot. Do they realize yet? Blame it on the other side. They still don't know. Oh, what? I think the silencer meant they had no idea that someone was shooting at them. And now Mr. is going to be taking down Texas. I'm so confused. Everyone's confused right now. Abby and Stown still a two on three. And Estrada needs to take a deep breath. No bomb plant yet. This is the bomb is all the way up there. All right, they're going to find the kill. But I was going to say, just don't fight them in this two on three in this map. Oh, yeah, this puts Astralis in such an awkward position. They've lost all eyes on outside. Mister, he's trying to find some information back. Farley gets one on the inside, and Kadian, he's found his time to strike. Takes down Mister from behind. Two versus four now. Farley, he's trying to stand his ground, but it's not enough. Zipnix, the lone player, and he's made his way into lobby. This might be tricky, but every second longer he takes, Heroic, we're going to gain more and more awareness to this possibility. Yeah, and they know his position. They know where he, he's normally playing, so they can probably guess that he's going to be going to be coming from the lobby. Molotov into position. It's a good Molotov. But Yami actually choosing so a smart, great yeah. route to escape. That's so clever. If he just goes to his right, he's probably going to get edged down by Sip. So still a one versus three. And he's in a massive crossfire. There's even a gap there. Tessus will find him. Nine to six at the end of the half. And still a good lead for Heroic in the opening half of Nuke. We'll see if they can win it in a 2-0 fashion. It's coming up. Okay, yeah. yeah. Through the right side window. I'm assuming, yeah. Looks like that means it's going to be an A exec coming out. Let's see. Flash through the ceiling. And they're going to go for it. Oh, good bit of damage at the start, but Yabby's back here, and he's getting a chance to get some shots out. What a brilliant headshot. He's running out of bullets, unfortunately. Still doing some good acrobatics to try and stay alive, and Kadian up from the heavens. All on Glaive now. One versus three, and Stown is down there. He was very quiet in the first half. He's got six kills now after getting a double in this one, but it doesn't matter. Interesting. 25 seconds. If they come up the ramp behind, then there's going to be trouble. Sip with the opening, and they will look at Glaive. He's here to try and help out. Shush doing so much work, but he knew he was going to be in trouble there, and they catch Yabby coming down this, the ladder. It'll be a perfect round. That is a great read here. Stown in a one versus two, though. He's going to be running for it, but Glaive will catch him in Astralis. I love everything about this round for them. That's so that's so clever. Being one of the A defenders on 50 health or 30 health right at the start of the round is it's pretty great. You know, Kadian back here. Let's see, it looks like they're gonna come and challenge him. But they run back into Stown and that catches him. They change their route and it actually is a really good move. Kadian gonna be gone, but even if he gets that shot, there should have been no chance here. Shush on his own and. That's really smart. It's almost like they baited Stalvius, right? The, yeah. the, the enemy team is thinking, that this is so suspicious. No bomb plant, and it's been 10 seconds. They're up to something. Oh, Kadian finding a little bit of value out there in Stown. He can't escape this position, but he's already got one kill. Yep, he's worried about that. No way. It's so accurate, though. What an amazing find. Look at him just peeking all over the place. Now they're just trying to find him, but now Shush has shown up to try and help out. Oh, man. Oh. He took all the attention and three of the kills with him. 15 to 10. That is brutal. He's a super talented player, so I don't, I'm not going to get in the middle of that right now. Tech Nines, four of them out, and a Mac 10 on Glaive. This is for Astralis. They need five in a row to try and play a little bit more overtime, try and see if they can stay in it. Shush already letting a lot of people pass. It's all out of chaos. This is madness happening on the A-bomb side. Kaden pushing through the smoke to take down Blameth, and that allows some space. Farley got his own. He's going to go down. Heroic. They will make it to the fall finals, taking down Astralis. And this rivalry continues. Oh, man. That's